welcome back to Moonstone Crafts and welcome back to another whip parade like a, a new segment on the channel that I just made for the first time last month for the month of April now we're gonna do it for the month of May, uh, May. so last time I showed you all my whips uh, so my work in progress uh, on all crafts so um, I showed you true to two <laughs> two <laughs> two uh whips that i had for diamond painting and two projects that i was gonna start in may i finished the two projects that i um that i showed in that video that were already in work in progress i think i just said that twice um the post reviews are actually up on the channel so you can find those in the playlist of post reviews um and i started the two that i said i would start so Let's get into them. First of all, this little one. Um, this was a project from Fan Cells uh, that I started um, for Mother's Day. Now, I'm recording this on the 1st of May, actually. And the 9th of May is Mother's Day. And as you can see, only this part. This part is drilled um, from this whole big piece. I was not enjoying working on this one for some reason. It's not that the drills are bad or anything else is bad about it. I just didn't enjoy working on it. So I decided to not pressure myself into finishing it and work on something that I don't enjoy. Because I like to enjoy diamond painting. So I decided to... Uh, put this on hold and work on it when I'm, you know, craving a square die of uh, craving a break from square diamonds with round dry diamonds, I can, you know, get back to this. So I'll keep it out, uh I'll keep it kitted up. Um I'm just not it's not a gift for Mother's Day anymore, <laughs> let's say like that. Um it's just um a project that I will work on when I feel like it and eventually I will give it to my mother she knows already that I'm I don't finish I'm not gonna finish this on time and she doesn't get it on Mother's Day she's totally fine with it she does understand uh, I, I kind of lost my mojo with this one a bit for diamond painting because I felt pressure to pressure to do this one not work on any of my other whips and that demotivated me in very much so I decided you know leave it at what it is for now um, that's also why I haven't seen it much on my Instagram uh, but I do want to post a photo of how far it's now and put it on Instagram and that's gonna be it and we'll see when I'll work on it it's an 80 by 30 but that's the canvas size not the drill area um, and it's round so when I feel like doing round drills I will just get this um, my mom still doesn't know this picture, so I also can't do it downstairs or anywhere in the room where she is. So that's also a, a different part that I didn't really enjoy. Um, but we'll get to it eventually. It isn't uh, the worst case scenario uh, if you have a whip you don't enjoy to put it away for a bit. Um, so if you have something like that, I would definitely say do it, do the same thing. Um, so. Probably the next few months you will see this in this whip parade <laughs> for a while because I don't feel like I'm gonna finish it very soon. So we'll see how fast this progress will go. So that was a big story <laughs> for just this one whip. Next up, the one that I showed in my last whip parade that I was gonna do is this. Ah, there we go. It's a dish shot. There we go get myself out of the lighting this tsa kit treasure studios arts kit um from polina bisheva uh, which is called star unicorn and i did this for the uh the event from gmtg crafts um giddy up with gmtg T uh, i'm sorry that's a mouthful you know which one <laughs> where we painted horses um, 
I didn't come too far. I mean, I'm not even on half of it. Uh, and um, uh, but I did enjoy it very much. It's the first time for me working with the smaller rounds from TSA. As you can see, they're so sparkly. They're the best and they're smaller and I really enjoy that actually for rounds. Rounds are never my favorites. I do like the ones from Diamond Art Club a lot, but still I enjoy squares very much. But this one was very good. So I'll be working on this not as intensely as in the month of April, because in May, I have two events going on and I really want to work on those kits. Um, but if I feel like it uh, and I'm upstairs here in my own room, I will work on this, I think. Um, just not that long ago, I did this part when I was upstairs here editing my video. So it will be slowing down the progress on this, but I will still be, you know, keeping it around and enjoying it when I feel like it. Um, so that's my progress on this since the last time when I didn't start it yet and since now. So I think that's pretty awesome. Um, we'll see where I am next month with this one because I don't think I'll finish it this month. But it's just a fun project. It also is my last TSA that I have in my stash so I don't want to go through, uh, through it too um, easily. We'll see. It's just so pretty. So I'm really happy with how it looks so far uh, and the quality. There is one color drill, I remember, that has a lot of holes and things to the side, like the, the knobbly bits. There is one color that has a lot of trash, but I'm working around it and for now it's good, but I'll keep an eye on that as well. Uh, but of course you will hear more about that in the post review. So that's the, the second whip. And that were the two that I showed in my last month's video. So I wasn't planning on doing more this month, but I started a new one. And this is interesting, because this is a big one that I haven't shown on the channel yet. Not in last month's book parade, but also not in an unboxing yet. So I don't want to keep it on here too long, because I still have to upload the unboxing. I think it will be in two weeks time that it will be up um, but I will show you it anyway because it's a whip and that's the the idea of this video it's huge it's huge <laughs> let's say that it's this one it's horses red barn I did actually uh, put it up on my Instagram so you guys know I will working on it I just haven't shown it on the channel yet um, so you will see the unboxing after this which is weird I don't like that it's just how it works. Um, so I did just this part uh, in one week. Literally in one week I did that. And that's after I decided to quit with the round one from Van Sells with the birch. I kind of went crazy with this one. I really craved another square one. And I wanted to try from Diamond Art Club. And I really liked this after the unboxing. I didn't... I didn't expect to like this as much as I did, but I really did. So I started this one. I kitted it up and I started it. And just in one week time, I did quite a lot already for a square drill where I just only single place because I only single place. I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> so um, I did quite a lot. Uh, it's gonna go on hold again though, because I have two canvases for this month that I'm going to show you next, um, which are both squares. So I don't want to overdo it, but if I feel like it, I want to do these colors this month. I will probably get this out again, but for now I'm just going to put it away. Um, but yeah, I'm so in love with this painting. I really, I didn't really expect it, but I really, <laughs> I really love this one. So I'm happy with all the progress I made already on it, uh, and it's awesome. Um, so yeah, that's that one. Uh, I'm gonna put this away, and I will be back with the canvases that I'm gonna do this month, the month of May, with the two events that I'm doing them for. Uh, and then, you know, we'll get on to the other crafts, but first, uh, let me clean this up. So, after cleaning that up, now we're get, 
going to get into what this month is all gonna be all about. So the month of May. Um, I'm gonna attend two events, well not attend, but get into two events. So I'm gonna have two canvases to um, work on. I'm not gonna finish them both, I know that already, but this is why I'm putting the others uh, on the back burner and I will get back to them, but I wanna work as much as I can on these two. They're both square, <laughs> so they're not gonna be quick because you just saw my progress on Horses Red Barn and, you know, it's not quick. Uh, it was quick, but it wasn't quick, so I don't know. I'm just a single player with squares. Uh, so the first event that I knew I wanted to join, let's uh, put this out of the way, was uh, the, it was first called the Purple Lung, I think it's called now the Purple DP for Lupus uh, event. So you just have to enter, I'm just gonna roll it backwards. Because it's been rolled a long time and just got it out of the box. <laughs> no, that it was in for a couple of months. Um, you just have to enter with a painting with purple in it. And I have one painting that's really purple. So I was like, and it was the first square that I got from Diamond Art Club. It's both Diamond Art Clubs. Uh, and it was the one that I really wanted from Diamond Art Club. So that's my first purchase from Diamond Art Club. And I'm finally gonna do it for this event because it fits perfectly. There we go. It's Piano Dream. You haven't seen it in a while. But there we go. Piano Dream uh, by CIC. I'm gonna do it for this purple long. Um, and I'm really excited because it has three ABs from itself. And I'm gonna add some white AB, I think, um, in that top part or maybe just the little. Uh, dots that are around here, like here is some white. So I think I'm doing that and not the whole part there. But uh, I thought this would be an excellent one to also put some white in. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna do four ABs with this one. And it's very purple so it definitely fits the theme. And uh, you know, I'm gonna start it this month. So we'll see how far I get. Uh, towards the end of the month. I'm really curious to see what the progress is gonna be when I'm, you know, filming next month's Whip Parade. I'm so interested to see where I'm gonna be because it's, it's still a big one, but my next one is even bigger. So, yeah. <laughs> um, I'll put this over here and then we'll get back to these, this big one because I found out there's a J wall Josephine Wall event this month, so it's I think the hashtag going J Wall. Um, I have only one Josephine Wall, and I'm gonna wall it backwards as well. It's a big one. All of her pieces are big, I think, because they have so much detail. Uh, it's also a diamond art clip, as I said before. It's also a square, so definitely not gonna finish this this month because it's big. But um, how big is it? Um, 70 by 87 centimeters. So, but I wanted to join this because this is the only J wall I have. It's my star sign, it's Cancer. Um, and I really want to complete this before my birthday, which is of course in July because that's the star sign. My birthday is the 18th of July and I would love to have it finished before that time. Uh, I always said I would work on this during the month of July and I hope that I'm still working on it then. Because I'm starting it now, we'll see how fast I finish it. But it's, no, it's not bad if I don't finish it beforehand, but you know. I don't know if it's all in shot. <laughs> no, it's not, it's too big. But that's, it's, it's huge. <laughs> Again, I'm amazed by how big it is. Um, so there is some purple in here, so I could have combined the two, but I really wanted to do something very purple for the purple along. So that's why I chose Piano Dream for that one, and I do this one for the Going J Wall one. Um, this one has actually 
two ABs from itself and I'm gonna add two ABs uh, because I think that would be pretty so yeah it's gonna also have four ABs hopefully in the end if I know where to put them so yeah I'm excited about that one uh, but this one is gonna take a long while for me to complete because it's quite confetti heavy and it's also very big but now that I see it again after a while, I'm like, yeah, it's still so pretty. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's the two that I'm uh, going to be working on this month um, for the events. So, wish me luck. They're big. Um, so that's it diamond painting wise, I think. Um, so I'm, I definitely have to clean this up again because they're way too big. So give me some time and I'll be back with... Uh, my other crafts the updates on the cross stitch and the drawing like I did last month so um, yeah I'll be back okay so let's move on to the other crafts um, this month I didn't do any cross stitching surprisingly I didn't do any so I'm not gonna show you any progress on them they're still the same so if you want to see how far they are please go check out my list with parade that's all the progress there is on it I didn't, uh, I didn't feel like cross stitching this month, and that's okay. I'm fine with that. I did actually, though, um, get into some drawing. One night, I felt like, okay, let's get some progress on it. Um, as you remember from last time, I was doing this drawing. Um, this is how it looks now. I will put it over here, and I'll see if I can find a screenshot from my last whip and chat. Uh, bit parade and put it next to it so you can see the difference that I made and that's just one night and like half an hour I wasn't feeling too happy about it I didn't like the shading that I did here so I stopped again I was like okay I'm gonna need some time to get back into it but at least I got somewhere uh, so I'm gonna try again this month to see if I can maybe do some other stuff um, around and see, you know, if I can make even more progress. I think for now, I really had to get back into it and I didn't enjoy my progress, especially here, if I see it now again. And some of the shading here, it's not my best work. So, yeah, I'm very critically uh, of myself and I know I can do better, which is good. So I just said, Let's stop for now because you're getting too frustrated and then you just mess it up even more. And we'll see what we can do about it next time. So that's my progress. It's not much, but it is something. At least I got back into drawing because of this wood parade. I was like, okay, I really want to show some uh, progress on that. So that is progress on drawings. Well, at least one drawing. I'm not going to do multiple at a time. Not with that. Uh, in mind, that's not a good idea. Um, so yeah, that's all my crafts for this month. So that's the whip parade. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you're working on. Uh, can be any craft related. Just let us know what you're working on uh, right now and what you're gonna work on this month if you have any plans. Uh, I would love to know. So let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and I want to thank you all for watching and I will see you the next time. Bye!